One of the great ways governments manage to ignore potential injustices or walk around them is a very simple one. They wait till everyone involved is dead. The situation with the WASPy women who are protesting about pension injustices at the minute reminds me of this. Some viewers may remember a couple of months ago, I did a video about my father who got a letter about where they thought they weren't paying him the correct amount of pensions. This was due to the fact that years and years ago, you could not inherit your spouse's pension if they died. If you became a widower or a widower, you just lost that bit of the pension. You couldn't have it. Unfortunately, this was changed in recent years, and it appears someone has forgotten to uplift my father's pension. And my father didn't have a clue where to start with that, and it involved me writing a donkey's load of letters to my mother's ex-employers, some of whom, of course, died. She was employed as a nurse. The doctors and nurse who worked with her would now be in the same age group, and many of them have long passed on. Um, I was able to get some help from her surviving cousin who worked alongside her and was her boss at one point and proof from her. But coming back to the WASPy women, let's share some articles on them. Here's The Guardian talking about them. Thousands of UK women owed pension payout after Ombudsman's WASPy ruling. Well, it appears that the Ombudsman is planning to pay them one amount or recommending one amount, um, and they want another amount. The recommended payout between £1,000 and £2,950 and £2, quid a person. Well, pounds rather derisory, to be quite frank, given that these women all had to suddenly work extra years or had their period of time that had to be at work or somehow fund themselves increased by several years. So it, it does sound a derisory offer. It's better than nothing, but it's not much. Depending on the number, the fact of the total still could still be, end up being in the billions of pounds or probably rather less because many of these women were born in the 1950s. If you, Put it this way, the youngest you can be if you were born in 1959 at this point is 65. That means pretty soon a lot of that, that generation are going to be departing planet Earth for the big whatever is up there in the sky, heaven, nothing, whatever you believe. At this point, at age 65, many of them already have to start departing, I would imagine. If they were born in the early 1950s, they'll already be into their, nearly their mid-70s. That means a good chunk of them have probably already passed on as the incidence of cancer, heart disease, etc. go up and up as we age. The government obviously knows also that in many cases their descendants and kids won't realise this money is there to be claimed or that they can claim it. But you know, The kids can claim it. It doesn't just die with them, that claim. If anyone's watching this that has a family member like that that did die and was entitled to some of this, be aware of that. This claim doesn't die with them. The government doesn't love people knowing that it would appear, but be aware. You can still push the claim. Not that the government will love you for doing it. And they seem to be kind of trying to keep that inner drawer in a disused toilet down the bottom of 20 flights of stairs next to a sign saying, Beware of the leopard. <laughs> Plus points for anyone who gets that one. But uh, I'm not amused by the way these women are being treated. They paid into their pensions with the expectation they would be paid out. They are now being mucked about left, right and centre. They are mucked out about left, right and centre by a sudden increase in the retirement age. There was kind of a very short notice of, in some cases, of the six-year delay to their pension. Some of them had employers who were not happy about employing them from basically over 60 to up to 65 to 66. In some cases, they were lucky and could stay on working. Um, the whole thing has become a shambolic mess and is being the government has reacted in its usual appallingly stupid way. I suspect in the end, it'll delay it by government inquiry after inquiry for several more years. Another chunk of these women will, will pass on. Their families will obviously be upset. 
but the thing will that will be the government will think, oh well, that's a bit less money we'll have to pay. A typically British solution to a horrid problem. 